Hi, my name is Reed Timmer, extreme meteorologist and a storm chaser. <laughs> we chase storms, but sometimes storms chase us. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Feel the energy out here. Okay, can you show everybody what your new haircut, Nick? Yeah, sure. He made a mistake with a razor. <laughs> you can see all my psoriasis up here and SEMA or whatever else it is. Looks like you missed a spot in the front. <laughs> Shawnee's taking the follow shot. She's a prospective grad student in meteorology at the University of Oklahoma, and she'll be out there. She's a genius with the, the 70, actually, the uh, Canon 70. <laughs> and we'll be getting that ever so important follow shot of the Dominator going into the tornado. Yeah, so I was playing catch with the football this morning in the backyard, just trying to blow off some steam before the big chase today, which looks huge, by the way, and stepped in this little random rusty pipe in the backyard that we never knew existed, hoping that it's not to the septic tank, but here's what happened. But this little piece of skin ripped off, and now it's growing back in like a piece of sod, so that's good. But you don't need your feet for storm chasing. It's mostly a driving sport, which is good. But I mean, if you know, I do have to run to a ditch or something, this isn't going to slow me down. We'll be in Dominator 1 because Dominator 2 is being shipped to Florida for a windshield wiper convention, Bosch Icon wiper blades. And uh, so we're back in old blue. Old blue. Right there, we've got baby Dewey. He's all decked out, trying to look cool. You know, he's the calm and collective one of the group. The glue, if you will, that holds us together. Are you okay with your foot, buddy? Yeah, it'll be fine. Injuries. If I had a broken femur, we'd still be, still be chasing. It seems like every storm season you injure your foot somehow. Does it hurt when you... Uh... Yeah, it went in deep, really deep. It's a rusty pipe, and I haven't had a tetanus shot in 12 years. So if my jaw blows up to this big, then we're going to keep chasing. But at the end of the chase, we'll, we'll we can treat just it. communicate through text then. OK, that works. <laughs> All right, you with the Dominator to head west. It looks big. Yeah, I can't let injuries slow you down. On a day like this, the adrenaline gets you through the pain. We did it. My dissertation's been a struggle the last, I think I've been working on my PhD for six years now. Been at college 14 years. Just turned 32 yesterday, so I'm ready to gain my freedom. I wanted to focus 100% energy on storm chasing and this thing has been slowing me down, but it's very important too. What's your time frame here of uh, when you're supposed to be done? I've got to turn in this chapter by the end of the week. So over these next few chases, I'll be working on this nonstop any spare second, like at night in the hotel or at home or on the way to the storm, on the way back. But the difference between this year and last year is instead of the Brett Favre of storm chasing, Joel Taylor, we've got extreme driver, Dickie Drama, Dick McGowan. He's actually the number one storm chasing driver behind the wheel, and he's passionate about it. So instead of constantly arguing with Joel about whether he wants to chase or not, we've already got someone that shares the same passion as us, and that's going to be key to getting inside the tornadoes. Are you nervous at all that Dick's not going to get the job done, like he'll get scared at the last minute? I'm not, I'm not nervous about Dick at all. He's already intercepted with us back in November a few months ago near Tipton, Oklahoma. We intercepted an EF4 which is a stronger tornado than Joel has ever been inside.
Oh, it's coming on the ground! Tornado! Right there! I got it, I got it, I got it! Look at that thing! Yes, it's a beast! <laughs> wow! hesitation from Dickie Drama either. It was tunnel vision straight into the tornado and actually did the fastest three-point turn when the tornado was bearing down on us and I've ever seen. I've been doing this uh, for, this is my 10th year of storm chasing. I've seen probably close to 200 tornadoes, uh, but that's not enough. I need to see one, you know, if I can see one every day, that'd be great. That's why I want to chase every single setup. I want to see, uh, you know, I'm going to get some beautiful photos, some storm structure. I don't just love tornadoes. I love storm structure as well. So uh, I definitely do, uh, I'm glad I'm with these guys. Today is kind of like the day before the day. We, uh, you know, tomorrow is going to be an epic. No way, I think today is the day. The day before the day? I always say the day I before the day. the day before the day is going to become the day, maybe. I think today looks good. I think there's definitely a huge chance that we're going to be seeing a tornado today, which is, everyone in this vehicle needs to see a tornado, you know? Like, we chased uh, a couple weeks ago in Kentucky, and, and we got some good stuff. Um, but we need to see a good Southern Plains tornado. Right. Might be the last gas station stop before the chase, so I'm gonna get a little sippy cup, maybe some beef jerky. I'm feeling kind of crazy though, I might even get another gas station sandwich. What do you think, another gas station sandwich maybe? Oh yeah, <sighs> an awesome, awesome burrito. Storm chasing. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Sippy cups keep the blood flowing when you really need it. It's made the difference between life or death. Gotta do whatever it takes. 44 ounce. High fructose corn syrup, caffeine and carbonic acid. It's an explosive combination. So we know it's definitely cola. That's not diet. There's no dieting going on here. Sorry? Oh, you're on a tornado? Oh uh, yeah, we do the we have the armored tank out there. So you actually chase tornadoes? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah, sometimes we chase clear air too, but <laughs> if you could just please add this to uh yeah. that'd be awesome. Thanks. Got my wallet. Preservatives keep the body, keep the skin looking young, though. That's why. I got something healthy. I got a peanut butter healthy bar. You're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to get used to eating pretty much junk food nonstop. 
You ready? I'm enjoying it right now. <laughs> What? Probably gained like 15 pounds throughout the season. Don't tell me that. I need to start running right now. No, you won't. You'll be fine. <laughs> run, run laps around the gas station. <laughs> One gas station sandwich a day is such low calories. It's not going to be a problem. It's unhealthy, but... It'll still, uh, yeah, I think one gas station tuna fish sandwich is all I need to survive for life. How's the foot doing? Let's take a look at it. It hurts, but it's fine. Getting used to it. <laughs> think it's getting infected or? <laughs> Sorry, a little twitch. It's closing up. It's like sod. See, I put the skin down and then it plants. Over there too. Yeah. I think eventually though, you want to have uh, open air get to it. Yeah. What are you thinking about the, uh, see the towers up? Yeah, I think we got to north. get north, stay ahead of those towers. Cause those are probably gonna be the first storms. We'll be able to get south quick. So I, I'm afraid that that storm is going to pop on south of I-40. Yeah, we can get south fast. No problem. Wouldn't let that happen. We're going to see every tornado and every storm today. Yeah, we'll save that for later. Dropped your pizza? Uh oh, someone's gonna get a little grease stain. It's gonna smell nice here later in the Dominator, too. Probably see some softballs today, too. Uh, a lot of cold air aloft, so we're probably gonna see some really, really big hail. Oh, yeah. Hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, the models have them kind of developing just east of Amarillo. What kind of, uh, what kind of tornadoes do you think we're gonna see today? Could even be the elusive uh, needle with two wedges rotating around it. Here's the moisture gradient. See there, I mean, this is not bad. 76 over 56. So we're thinking about going north to keep everything in play. We can always just hop down the line, catch all of these. We're getting really antsy right now. This is not looking promising right now. I, uh, I'm a little afraid to say something in front of Reed. Cause I have a gut feel. I've had a gut feeling for a while that we should have stayed uh, long I-40. But uh, Reed seems to think the shear is better up here. A lot of people are going south after those storms. I'm scared. Yeah. Right now we're heading north. We're gonna keep these uh, towers in play to our north, and then always keep an eye to the south, close eye to the south. Look at that one to the back right there. I mean, yeah. it's blowing up up there. Yeah. All right, so I'm texting Dick. We need to go south instead of north. So I'm saying south is the new north, according to the models. And we're still heading north because I have yet to press send. So here it goes. He's going he's gonna to give me a strike right now. Uh, big concern, though. We're taking a big gamble by going north because there is going to be a storm further south of us probably in northwest Texas and the southwest Oklahoma, but we just think the wind shear is a little bit better up here. The moisture is good right now further south, but it looks like that moisture tongue is streaming north. And based on my experience, you'd want to stay on the tip of that moisture tongue as it migrates north, and that usually pays off in spades. Now there's a storm going up way to our south near Childress. It's already going and everybody's getting very anxious. They think we might have made the wrong call by going up here to the north. But I also think we should be patient because the best wind shear is up here later on and there's going to be storms. It's just a matter of time. But we could easily blast southeast and probably catch that thing too. So we're definitely at a crossroads. In March, what matters most, do you think? And the cap's really not an issue. Upper dynamics or? No, I think it matters a lot less. It's got a nice compact base. Good. Finally, we got initiation. It's like, yep. Tornado warning on the way southern one down in King County now. I told you we should have gone south. We haven't even seen a drop of rain yet. <laughs> we really need one of these cells to take off right now. Look at that. They're they're yeah, going to they're gonna blow, don't you think? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. There you are. There you are. You're late. You're late to the party. You think that has a chance? 
Right now we're getting close to sunset and there's been a confirmed tornado in southwest Oklahoma which we are considering dropping south. Uh, it was my idea to stay up here so pressure's really on for these storms to produce here over the next hour before sunset. Seen better days. What about you? We get two strikes now. The last two chases. Three's a lucky charm. No, oh, I'm a strike. The reason for the strike. No, oh, I was. Yeah, Dick wanted to drop south. And I did. I did. Uh, I did say uh, when you were not around. I did say I was very scared uh, to voice my opinion with you, but maybe I should just uh, step up a little bit. And, uh, said that earlier? Yeah. Are you kidding know. me? I don't know, man. I feel like you, uh, sometimes uh, you, you get really mad when I uh, disagree with the target. Oh, I know. Thank you, too. But it's okay. Are you scared to voice your opinion or scared to commit to the southern target? I'm scared to voice my opinion. Well, that's not going to be effective. <laughs> Every setup's different. Yeah, 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 it is. Red tail. Oh, oh boy, look at that one, guys. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Whoa. That's is that even a rope? Yeah, that'd be the biggest one Dick seen since middle school. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the whippiest tornado <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, come on, let's put our hands in. On three, never stop chasing. One, two, three, never stop chasing. Dick, I expect a little more energy out of you on that one. That update? Oh, look at the top on it. Yeah. You need to push that up a little bit so you can see if it's updating. Tornado? Just kidding. You know, today was a bust but at least I'm out doing what I love to do and that's chasing. Tomorrow, a little birdie told me that uh, Ginger Z is coming down to chase with us. Her and Reed, I think we're on rocky grounds. We'll see what happens. This time, she's gonna have to ride in her own car because I'm not giving up my seat. <laughs> 